Hey everybody, welcome back to an episode of Throwback Thursday. Now we are pushed back a day because of the Nationals, so we're doing Throwback Thursday here on Friday. But today we have 2012 Topps Chrome Hobby Boxes featuring Bryce Harper on the front of the box. He's also the big chase card in this box. We're looking for the Harper rookie card in a PSA 10. That card will fetch around $400. And then if you get his autograph rookie card or a parallel of his rookie card, well, then that just, you know, increases exponentially. So thank you very much for watching. Hit that subscribe button, everybody. We do videos every single day. We'll have another video later tonight of a new release preview of Tops Tier 1. And I'll have two more national videos for you this weekend. So please hit that subscribe button, tap that little bell, that notification bell, and set it to all so you don't miss a single thing. So let's get right into it. I guess I'll show you the box before I rip it open. Bryce Harper, the cover boy. There's 24 packs with four cards per pack in these Topps Chrome boxes. There's a young Harper. And um, let's see what we can find. Two autographs. These boxes are currently about $900 a box on eBay. Pretty expensive is... You know, pretty much anything a little bit older is. So here's our pack wrappers. We'll take a look at the odds in just one moment. Let's get these all out of here. All right, so here we go. And I guess actually what we're doing here is we're doing them by the stack. So let me go ahead and redo these. Each person gets a grand total of six packs. So let's see what we've got here. So Michael will have 12. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So these are all going to be for Michael. And then the other two, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, will be for the next contestant, so to speak. So since the boxes were so expensive, we just decided to break them up that way. So, Michael, good luck to you in our very first spot. Let's show you those odds in case you are curious. There they all are. You can, If you really want to, you could probably watch my 2021 Topps Chrome um, preview video and compare those odds. I'll tell you, it's probably... A lot easier to pull the good stuff in 2012. There's the design of 2012. You see Tim Linson come on the front. We've got a Craig Kimbrell Refractor, which is a pretty nice looking card right there. Brett Lowry, and there's Kevin Euclid as well. So since there's only four cards per pack, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do each person's spot as what I call a super rip. A super rip is where I just go and I open all of the packs for that person at once. And then we go through them in a big stack, kind of like a fat pack or, you know, kind of like that. So hopefully we have an autograph in here now. If you're wondering who the top rookies are in this class, a lot of these guys don't even play anymore. It's hard to believe that this series came out just 10 years ago. And looking over the rookie list, a lot of these guys aren't even around. So some notable rookies that you'll probably recognize. You got Hugh Darvish is a notable one. Another one back in the day that was pretty notable was Jonas Cespedes, but he's no longer around. I would bet you that maybe only three of these rookies still play. And Drelton Simmons is another one that's still around. Uh, Drew Hutchinson has been bouncing around here and there through the minors. I think he was just had some uh, major league experience this year, but that's about it. So not a ton of uh, current guys left. The average major league career is only about, uh, like three years believe it or not obviously i when i heard that stat a while ago i was like wow that's crazy because most guys seem to stick around forever like matt holiday shane victorino had a long career pablo sandoval but a lot of these rookies just come up and have a cup of coffee and then they're gone and they kind of drag the average down there's big poppy david ortiz these cards are gorgeous i love uh, chrome anything chrome is better and we've been doing chrome Pretty much every week now for like two or three months, there's a rookie card here. It's going to be Brett Pill. I don't remember him at all. We've got BJ Upton, Refractor. There's Adrian Gonzalez, Agon. We've got Adam Lind, or Adam Lind. No relation to Jose Lind, my brother's former favorite player. There's Yanis Cespedes rookie card. That would have been a nice one back in the day. His career just really, really went off the rails. We got an X-Fractor of A.J. Pierzynski. It is not numbered, in case you're wondering. Still no autograph. There's going to be a grand total of two autographs per box. We got Matt Adams' rookie card. Had a lot of power, but, uh, you know, stuck around for a little while, but never really put it together. We have Punxsutawney Zone from Pennsylvania. But guys have probably heard of Groundhog Day, right? Punxsutawney Phil. Well, Devin Mezzarocco uh, grew up in Punxsutawney, PA, which is about maybe an hour and a half north of here. I've been to Groundhog Day once in my life, 
and uh, it was pretty cool. Big celebration, and uh, it all comes crashing to a halt at 7 a.m. when the uh, groundhog comes out. And it's like big build up for like an hour and a half, and then it's just all over when he she sees his shadow or doesn't. There's Steven Strasburg. He's been really banged up. What a bad contract that has been for the Nationals. Signed him to a mega deal, and he's pitched like 30 innings the last three years, I think. Troy Tulowitzki, there's Nick Swish. There's still no Harper. Here's Miggy. Future Hall of Famer, Slam Dunk Hall of Famer, Miguel Cabrera right there. And this is a nice one, Mike Trout. So a Mike Trout second year card. We're going to get this one taken care of and top load it up for Michael. Let's see what else we've got. Hunter Pence, of course. Mike Trout has been in the news recently as well. I was on the hunt for his rookie card in a PSA 10th of the National. So on Wednesday... I was out there, I was looking at prices, and I was a little disappointed. The lowest I saw at PSA 10.4 was two grand, which is more than eBay. Uh, you can buy that car on eBay for about $1,700 to $1,800 a piece. Now, obviously, after the taxes, you're probably going to be paying around two grand. But uh, I was hoping, you know, to, to find it for $1,600 or something like that if I, I got a deal. So I, I, you know, I was thinking about it. So, Michael, that's your stack. Thank you very much. David's up next. I was thinking about it, and then in the hotel room later that night, because Wednesday night was just such a, uh, it's a sneak peek, so they only let you in there if you're not VIP for just four hours, and you go through 30 rows in a massive convention center, it's, a, it's almost impossible, so I'm just kind of flying by all the tables for the most part. I did a tour of that uh, day yesterday, if you want to check that video out, it's up. And holy cow, I think we have a one-of-one one for David. David, you may have a one-of-one one in here. Stay tuned, man. But the news broke later Wednesday evening. My brother's like, hey, what's this about Bryce Harper? Or not Bryce Harper, Mike Trout. He's got a, a bad back. It might affect him his entire career. And I was like, whoa. He's like, maybe you shouldn't be buying a, a Trout rookie card. All right, so David, I see some metal. I think we have a printing plate coming up, which is pretty friggin' awesome. There's Yadier Molina, who's a slam dunk first ballot Hall of Famer. We've got a Brett Gardner die cut card, kind of weird. I hate die cut cards like that. Those are just a pain, an absolute pain to sleeve up. Good luck trying to get that one sleeved without catching a corner. You've got to have like a surgeon's hands for that. And Dalton Simmons, rookie card, he's still around. He's had a good career. And we have our first autograph. It's Tommy Malone from the A's. I remember him with the Twins mostly. But Tommy Malone is our first autograph rookie auto. Not a big name anymore. He was around for a little while. Let's see what else we can find. I'm looking forward to that one of one, which I do believe is coming up soon. There it is, folks. Do you see it? You can see it coming right there. A one of one is on the uh, horizon here. There's Will Middlebrooks. We've got a Salvi Perez. So we haven't had a single numbered card yet, and the first numbered card, it's going to be a one of one of Jose Valverde, former closer for the Detroit Tigers. Take a look at that. So a one of one for you there, Jose Valverde. It is the uh, printing plate for David Nutson. So congratulations on that one, Dave. You got a one of one and you got an autograph. So congrats and still no Bryce Harper though. So let's see what we've got for Jason in the last one. At this box, now, I did buy two boxes because there's only 96 cards per box. There's 220 cards in the set, and I really was hoping to get a Bryce Harper and pull the Bryce Harper rookie card from Chrome. So I thought, well, I should probably get two of these boxes just to make sure. I mean, I don't want to go through an entire box and not get the autograph, but it could happen. So, as you see, we are on our last stack here, and the stacks are pretty small. Six times uh, four, 24 cards per stack. Let's see what we got for Jason coming up. There's a, we have a blue coming up. There's the U Darvish refractor rookie. That's so far the best rookie card that we've pulled. Carlos Ruiz. We got Nelly Cruz. We got uh, Jordani Avalde Spin right there. Irving Fallu. I do not remember him whatsoever. That almost seems like that's a made up player. Irving Fallu. I literally have never heard of him. Jesus Montero is a nice one. I used to root for him a lot. Just never worked out. Here comes our next autograph. It's from the Brew Crew. It's going to be a nice one. Willie Peralta. So there's a name that most of you recognize. Willie Peralta Refractor Auto. 
Definitely the better the two autographs in the box, and this may be numbered. Usually the refractor autographs are numbered out of 499. So Willie Peralta for Jason to go along with the uh, U Darvish. Let's see if we can find you the Bryce Harper before we head over to the next box. There's Justin Morneau, refractor. We've got Cliff Lee there as well, Craig Kimbrell. And look at this, another U Darvish hit. This time it's an X Fractor Parallel. Nice looking card right there. Congratulations on that one, Jason. U Darvish X Fractor, and you have a blue. Wouldn't that be something if it was a Bryce Harper blue? Uh, what? An <laughs> it's, can you imagine if this was all Bryce Harper? It's a third U Darvish within the span of just 24 cards. <laughs> That's crazy. And a blue of Clay Buckholes. We've got Paul Canerico, and to round out the box, we got Liam Hendricks. So he's still around as well. So maybe there's maybe four or five players still around on this rookie um, checklist that we're looking at here. So, Jason, thank you very much. And unfortunately, no Bryce Harper in there. But I got another box just in case that was going to happen. Another Bryce Harper search commences right now. Tim's got the first stack. Good luck to you, Tim. We'll see if we can find you. Make sure you check us out a little bit later today. We'll have the Tier 1 spots for you. That's going to be a quick rip as it's just, I'm probably, I'm going to do the whole case and uh, I think it's one pack per box. So all high end stuff, all hits. There's your six packs, Tim. Let's see if we can find for you. Let's get your name on the screen and uh, let's see if we can get that Harper now. That first box, we'll just consider it a warm up for this second one. And luckily none of these cards are sticking together. Anytime I'm grabbing cards from you know, 10, 15 years ago. I'm a little worried about that, but usually the chrome, I don't think I've had any issues with the chrome ever sticking together. Now, Tops flagship from, say, like early 2000s, like 2000, 2001, 2002, 03. Oh, look out. Those are rough. Even the late 90s. Here we go. Tyler Pasternicki is the first one. Adam Jones. We've got a Canerico once again, a second Liam Hendricks. There's a big poppy. So we're seeing some repeats. I think that's the first time we've seen that at Rollis Chapman, though. There's Jay Bruce Refractor. I don't know if he's still around. Kyle Seeger is no longer around. He has since retired. Another guy that I don't think is around anymore. It's going to be the the uh, King Felix Hernandez. Nice one right there. I almost called him the Milkman, who's the next player. The Milkman, Melky Cabrera, who won a batting title and then conceded it to Buster Posey because he was caught cheating. And um, there's Mark Burley. Here comes a red... Tim Lincecum. The red is going to be Will Middlebrooks. Man, wouldn't that have been cool if that was Harper? Will Middlebrooks out of just 25. A red auto right there. It goes well. I like the uh, team color match hits like that where the color parallel matches the team. Got the red for the Red Sox. Addison Reed, rookie card, former closer. Another Mike Trout. It's our second Mike Trout. That one's for Tim. Second year card there. Tim also pulled a Mike Trout. I can't remember which one. It may have been the uh, Bowman draft. But he pulled a Mike Trout in our 12 Days of Troutmas. There's another team color match. David Wright. Blue, numbered out of 199. And Drew Smiley is the last one there. So, Tim, thank you very much. Tim's got one more stack in this box. So maybe he'll hit the Harper. Next, we've got Chris with six packs. And I'm getting a little nervous. Where is Bryce? You know, the odds of finding him in a box are probably, there's 96 cards. There's obviously some duplicates as well. You saw with you Darvish having three cards in one stack. So it may only be like a one in three chance per box or so of finding the Harper. And I'm just hoping we could find him here. Chris is up next, spot number six. Let's see what we can do here. No Harpers on the backs. We've Oh, this is crappy. It's a redemption coming up. It is, oh, look at this. Holy cow. Can you believe this? We have the Bryce Harper. It's an autograph rookie variation sepia refractor. Can you imagine what this card is worth? However, welcome to my pain, Chris. It's expired. I had the same thing happen with a Luis Robert Atomic number out of 23 rookie patch auto that was expired. And now, unfortunately, you have the same issue here. Chris, this is this is terrible news. This card would be worth just obscene amounts of money. A Topps Chrome Harper Sepia um, Refractor. It's an autograph. Oh, man. It's an autograph rookie Bryce Harper? It's an autograph rookie Bryce Harper Sepia Refractor. 
I don't even see any known of uh, known on eBay. There's not a single one on eBay. This card could be worth in a PSA 10 tens of thousands of dollars. I don't know what it's numbered out of. I'm trying to find out, but I'm not seeing anything. There's just literally no matches of this. I'll just I'll take out. I'm trying to search it up for you here. If anyone knows what this would be worth, let me know in the comments. Wow, here's one. A uh, well, an it's numbered out of 75. I'm looking at it right now, and it is gorgeous. I found a BGS 9.5. It goes. It sold for two thousand five hundred dollars. Oh man! So I I really hate redemptions. I I wish that. Maybe hopefully Fanatics gets rid of them. Here I have to show you what the card would look like on my laptop here. Let me go ahead and show it to you what we're missing out on here. So Chris, i move these up. This is what the card looks like in real life. You can see that's, that's a BGS 9.5. That is what you have or should have, but it's, oh man. $2,500 card, potentially even more than that. If you get a 10, a PSA 10, probably four grand, five grand. Wow. $5,000 card as a freaking redemption. You've got to be kidding me. Andrew Elton Simmons once again. We got Ryan Zimmerman. Now, you can send that in and just maybe... There'll be a miracle, and they'll still have it in some cabinet somewhere where they held on to it after all these years, and they'll send it to you. Also, some people have said that Tops will send you a similar card. So maybe instead of getting a Bryce Harper CP out of 75, maybe they'll send you a J-Rod autograph. It doesn't hurt to try, Chris. You know, that's terrible. That card, of course, here's the expiration date, in case you're wondering. It expired in 2015 on 731. Man, I was having such a good time and a good day, and then that had to happen. I'll still, you know, you know I'll recover, but um, I, I really wanted to have a good video and pull a nice Bryce Harper for you, and I was hoping to find the autograph, and then that happened. So, Chris, let's go on to the next box for Tim. So Tim had two spots. Let's see if he's got anything going on in this next one. Looking for the Bryce Harper, Jordan Pacheco, Brett Lowry. There's Tim Fedorovich, a Mike Aviles. That's an X-Fractor card right there. Jared Weaver. Maybe we can at least pull a Harper, like the base card, so we can at least look at it and not on a computer screen. And unfortunately, nothing Harper-ish in this one. Rollers Chapman die cut cards. We're down to our last stack. It's going to come down to Jerry Fine to save us. Jerry at spot number eight. Good luck to you. Let's see if you can find the Harper. By my calculations, there's one more autograph in here. And wouldn't that just be the ultimate troll job if it is a second redemption? Can you imagine buying a hobby box and they are both redemptions? I wonder if that's ever happened before. I feel like it may have happened once to me in my life. And I think it may have happened in a preview video. A long time ago. I'm trying to remember. Two redemptions in a box would be abysmal for, for a box this old. So here we go. Last stack looking for Harper. Willie Peralta again. So, wow. Willie Peralta, kind of a common auto. Well, that's, we'll take that one. Not too bad. Now let's see if we can get a Harper to get on out of here. Maybe they can uh, give us a Harper. That's a Freddie Freeman. X-Fractor. Second year card. That's a nice one. Uh, Willene Rosario, there's Irving Fallu once again. There's a nice Ichiro Refractor as well. Making the catch against the wall. Got Jeff Locke rookie card. There's Mariner Rivera. And then that'll do it, folks. We came here looking for Bryce Harper. We found him. The ultimate troll job there <laughs> by these boxes. Giving us about a, in a PSA 10, we'll call it about a $5,000 card out of 75. A rookie auto. <laughs> it's a it's a redemption so thank you very much for watching i hope you guys have a great rest of your day check us out for the new release preview of tier one a little bit later today and i'll have two more national videos coming for you this weekend so hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing have a great rest of your friday and check us out a little bit later tonight good night everybody